continuing our series on Olympic Games history, today's date is 1948 when the Stoke Mandeville Games were held in the village of the same name. These games were a forerunner to the Paralympic Games. The modern Olympic movement has always had disabled athletes competing, such as George Eisner, who was a gymnast competing in the 1904 Games with a wooden leg. He won six medals in one day. More disabled athletes would compete in the Games, but no major international effort was put into creating a separate Games for them. That is until Sir Ludwig Goodman came along. He is the primary organiser of the Stoke Mandeville Games. He was a Jewish doctor specialising in neurology. He had to flee Germany in 1939, and it was the Council for At-Risk Academics that helped him eventually gain British citizenship. He was asked to set up the National Spinal Injury Centre in a hospital in Stoke Mandeville, Buckinghamshire. The hospital had many veterans as patients, and to encourage them to work past their injuries, Goodman organised sporting events for them. He was a firm believer that sport was an important method for therapy. This led to the hospital hosting its own games on the 29th of July in 1948, the same day the Summer Olympic Games opening ceremony was held. It was called the 1948 International Wheelchair Games. 16 athletes took part, all wheelchair users, 14 men and 2 women. The only sport played was archery. The sporting event would grow to become the first Paralympic Games, which will be the subject of our next video. To remember this date, let's imagine a blank target and then fly multiple arrows forming the number 194. Once formed, two wheelchairs come in, and they take the place next to the four, forming the eight. 1948, the first Stoke Mandeville Games, forerunner to the Paralympic Games. Thanks for watching.